So this is our culminating training event. Over the past year, we've done four different field training exercises leading up to this training event. We've brought in observer controllers from Fort Bragg to certify us for deployment. So this is short of Army Trauma Training Detachment in Miami, which is where we'll go for our final official uh, pre-deployment training. This is what certifies us as ready to deploy globally and take care of patients around the world. Yeah, so I'm playing the OC or the observer controller um, for this exercise. So I've designed all the patient scenarios um, and as patients are coming through and being treated, I'm gonna be the one directing and providing the team with information that we can't simulate with moulage. So things like vital signs and progression of patient status. And then I'm also just providing an outside set of eyes from the team here to observe how the team's functioning, both from a team dynamics and a logistical standpoint, and then also from a medical standpoint, and hopefully providing them with some feedback um, on things that they might want to consider doing differently or things that I feel like they're doing especially well on. Being at Bach helps me with my day-to-day -day reps. Being here helps me from the standpoint of this is how I'm deploying. I'm deploying with less, and I need to think What's the simplest way I can do this and still accomplish the mission and take care of this patient? And then when we get trauma at Blanchfield, I'm not like, what am I doing? Because um, I've already kind of dealt with it. When I deployed in 2012 as an ICU nurse, we saw a lot of small arms fire. When they went in initially, it was a lot more IEDs and burn stuff. So it all just depends. It can be anything from a vehicle rollover to an, an explosion of some kind and we just we've got to prep to take anything in between.